Hey everybody, what's up? So, one of the things that we're going to do now that we've set up ETLS on our NPS and, you know, we've got everything kind of going with the Meraki and things are starting to look really good. So we're going to have a few final things to do. And after this video, you check my blog out, I'll show you how to configure the actual Wi-Fi policy inside of Intune. But, so we're going to do a few things. We're, first, we're going to import the certificates to build the trust for NPS so that NPS will trust the Cloud PKI certs. Then we're going to show you how to build the Cloud PKI certificate template and deploy it out. And then we'll just quickly test that configuration to show that it actually works. Because we're really close, so we just want to kind of continue to walk the ball down the field and see what's going on. So why don't we start with actually importing those certs for Cloud PKI. Okay, so I'm on the server. And so the reason why we do this as you're going to see here, is it says the search chain was processed, but the CA is not trusted by the policy provider. So the reason for that is, is that you actually have to go through a specific process in order to import them. I've already imported mine, but I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So basically, there's three stores. Root CA, Sub CA, and then the NT Auth CA store. So it's really easy. And I think my friend Richard Hicks had an article on this because I forgot about this, but so basically you do cert util ds publish, then you put the path in of the certificate. And so if I go find my cert, right? So there's my, I think that's it, the center, yeah. So center x root cer, and then you do root ca. That's the first command you're going to hit. The next command you're going to hit is going to be for the issuer, then you do sub CA and you hit that one. Once you've done that one, the very last one you're going to do is going to be to the issuing cert again to NT auth CA. So what that's going to do is, is it's going to import those three certificates um, right into the store and it's going to build that trust and you'll give it like five or 10 minutes after doing that. Because once you've done it, you've now established your trust, and we'll move on to the next piece now, which is going to be actually building out the certificate template for our test. Okay, so now let's walk through the Cloud PKI, the Cloud PKI certificate. So basically, you create a brand new settings catalog, skip cert, and this is the format and setup. So you're going to tell it, okay, I want it to be a user cert, CN username, CN email, you're going to put the UPN in the SAN, plus this is the key. URI, on-premise security identifier. This is a new requirement for SCEP certificates around strong certificate mapping, which just started getting enforced this month. If you don't have this, I'll show you in a second what happens if you don't have it. And then, you know, basic stuff, SHA-2, 2048, digital signage, key encipherment. You only need the client authentication, EKU. And you see here, if I drag this up a little bit, then there's my uh, my Skip server URL for my Cloud PKI. Because uh, if we if we take a sec and we we pop on over to our Cloud PKI, and I'll show you how this works, where you get that URL from. Okay, so we're pouncing around a little bit here, but so those certs that we imported in the previous section are actually intended admin Cloud PKI. So I went in and I grabbed, you know, my root cert, which we just download right here. I grabbed my issuing CA certificate, which I grabbed right here. And in here is our skip URI. And that's actually what we're going to end up putting in here. So you'll pop that in. It'll do its little magic. It'll, the cert will deploy down and, you know, really cleanly and easily. So once you get that certificate, now we're going to go through actually setting up and testing out the basic Wi-Fi ETLS configuration. Okay, so now what we're going to do here inside of the net our lovely network section. So now what we're going to do inside of our lovely network section is we're going to go to Manage Known Networks. We're going to hit Add Network. We'll put in our SSID name. We're going to hit WPA2 Enterprise. 
eptls. We'll add our trusted server name in here. We're going to save that. And then we're going to grab our thumbprint. So here's my cert. I'm going to go grab our trusted root certificate here. Good times. And we want to grab our thumbprint. So we grab our thumbprint, we pop it in. And now we're going to save. Now let's try to connect. Huzzah! We did it. See, it was just that simple. We popped in, and we'll just take a look at the cert real quick. This is the cert that we created. So we popped in, that cert came down, we manually configured, and just that easy, EPTLS, Cloud PKI, and NPS.